So Yuri Prohachka is going to finally get his crack at UFC gold. He's going to be taking on Glover Teixeira in Glover's first title defense as the champion, the 42-year-old champion, mm -hmm. if you can believe that. Yuri Prohaska is a slight favorite to win this fight, but I think this is a really interesting matchup. Yeah, 42 years young, and it's never too late for a title run, and Glover proved that more than anybody. Everybody was expecting Glover to retire if he did win the belt, but he looked so good against Jan that he's like, you know what, I think I can maybe do a title defense or something like that, and everything after winning the belt is going to be icing on the cake for him, but... God, the UFC drew from the bottom of the deck when it comes to his first defense yeah. uh, with the title. Yuri Prohoshka is like one of the best prospects, one of the most talented new fighters the UFC's seen. And one thing that is kind of a common theme that we've seen lately is a lot of guys that don't have a ton of fights within MMA, especially in the UFC, are skyrocketing right up into these title fights and these high-profile fights. I'm I'm really impressed. You got Cyril Gaon making his way really quickly to the title. Yuri Prohachka, Hamza Chimaev's one or two fights away from fighting for a title. So I think it's pretty interesting that these guys are rising just as quickly as they are. Yeah, and it's it's funny because even though Yuri Prohachka does have a different path than uh, a Hamza Chimaev or somebody of that nature, uh, meaning that he's got you know a lot more fights. Most of them happened in Asia. They they yeah. weren't really on a lot of people's radar, and he's only had a handful of fights in the UFC. He's got one of the quickest runs as far as entering the UFC and then getting a title shot mm -hmm. probably in recent history. It's quite impressive how quickly Yuri Pohatska has risen and, and for good reason. I mean, he's getting in there and dismantling people. It wasn't that long ago that Dominic Reyes gave John Jones one of the hardest fights of his life. Yuri annihilated Dominic yeah. Reyes. I mean, he is the real deal. His striking seems to be next level. I think Glover's saving grace might be who he has in his camp with him, and that is none other than Israel Adesanya's old foe, Alex Pereira. Yeah, that could definitely come in handy with a fight like, I mean, Yuri and Pereira and Izzy, these top-level strikers, they all have their own you know, flavor to their striking, and they can be different and difficult to prepare for, but... If you have a mind like that in your camp, they can at least break down what that other person, what that other high-level striker is doing. They might not be able to emulate it perfectly, and you definitely can't just find bodies that can do it, but they can tell you the rhyme and the reason for what these uh, attacks and defenses are, and I think that's really important to have in your corner. Glover's obviously uh, a legend and has a veteran mindset for the sport. He understands the game in and out, both on the feet and especially on the ground, and I think that his best chances of winning are going to come from a, a ground submission or some ground and pound. And who knows really how Yuri Prochka is going to do on the ground. I think he has plenty of skills down there and he's good at takedown defense. But I mean, you're talking about another animal, somebody who's able to take pretty much everybody that he's ever stepped in the cage with, aside from John Jones, he's able to take them down and do what he wants on the, on the ground. Yeah, I mean, Glover Teixeira is one of the best grapplers that light heavyweight's yeah. ever seen. And what he did to Jan Blahovic, who just before that dominated Izzy Adesanya on the ground. Now, we know Izzy's not known for his ground game, but right. John, uh, Jan Blahovic won that fight mostly through those takedowns in the later rounds. And then to see Glover just dismantle him with a single leg that seemed like it was almost undefended in yeah. his advanced position. Uh, Jan conceded the back and he choked him out. It seemed almost effortless and that's not because it was effortless that's because Glover really is that good at grappling mm -hmm. I see this fight as being a fight that Yuri Prohachka certainly can win I can see why he's a slight favorite I think he's a minus 180 favorite so not quite two to one but Yuri Prohachka hits very hard he's very unconventional he throws a lot of shots that are very difficult to see coming but at the same time, Glover has a tremendous chin. Yeah. Just think back to that Tiago Santos fight. I mean, Tiago Santos threw the kitchen sink at Glover, and Glover seemed like he was half conscious at times, yeah. maybe half conscious at best. Yeah. And Glover still ended up submitting Tiago. It's really, truly remarkable. And Yuri Prohachka does get hit, and mm -hmm. Glover also has a lot of power himself. And I think the ground advantage is going to be a decent margin for Glover. Yeah. And I think that first round against Santos proved to us just how tough Glover is. I don't think that anybody can just go out there and dismantle him, even in his older age. Like, you have to be somebody really special to just go out there and mollywop Glover Teixeira. The light heavyweight division is an interesting one because for a while it was really dead and
and it seemed like nobody was in there. John Jones was just cleaning up everybody a couple times over, and and then it, a couple of older fit names kind of inserted themselves back into the mix, and then John leaves, and a whole new roster of young guys with the Johnny Walker, Dominic Reyes, Rakic, Yuri. These guys all came up, and they're all kind of they were all like in a race to contendership and to the title. And we were wondering which one it was going to be, right? First, it was Johnny Walker, and then he he takes a fall. And then uh, it was, you know, Rakic, and he's doing pretty good. But we, we, he hasn't had enough fights. And all of these different reasons kind of led to a, a cool race to, to the finish. Yeah. And Yuri's the one that ended up getting there, you know, not first, but the one that seems to be the most promising as a younger per- person in the light heavyweight division that could potentially get the title. Yeah, and I'm not ready to finally like make my prediction on this fight yet but one thing keeps standing out to me because i do think this is a lot closer than a lot of people think i think most people are going to say 29 year old prohachka almost 43 year old Teixeira. there's 13 14 years difference between these two gentlemen i don't think many people thought that glover was going to beat jan blahovic i picked jan to win that fight so I, I think that uh, a lot of people are going to be betting pretty heavily on Yuri to win this fight. And the one thing that I just can't get past, and I want to pick Glover to win, but 28 fights, 25 knockouts for Prohachka. I mean, mm. this guy is a prolific knockout machine. He hasn't spent that much time in the UFC, but had his, most of those fights been in the UFC, they'd be talking about him up there with Derek Lewis as a knockout king of the UFC because his knockout ratio is just so high. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. And he's doing it in all different kinds of ways. It's not just like one thing. Like Conor McGregor has that left hand that puts everybody to sleep. Prohachka's doing it with every single limb and many different variations of it. So I can't wait to see it. Something tells me this is going to be a finish. As of right now, we've you know we've predicted the main and co-main of all the big cards so far this year, and there hasn't been that many. I'm batting a thousand, yeah. even though I don't have any confidence when I make my predictions. So I'm going to think and ponder on this one a little bit longer until uh, until it's time to make the prediction. But uh, I think I'm going to go right with this one. And honestly, no matter who wins, this thing's going to be a finish. And spoil alert: my prediction will be one of these two things: knockout by Yuri, submission by Glover. I have yeah. not decided which one yet, but a decision will not be in my prediction absolutely guys thanks so much for watching this video drop us a comment and let us know what you think about this light heavyweight matchup and we always love chatting with you guys there see you in the next one peace